Well, good evening and welcome once again to the LBJ Grasslands outside of Decatur, Texas. Tonight's exercise is a beam comparison between the Phoenix TK20R V2 and the Nightcore MH25S. Now first let me say I'm not doing this comparison with the intent of provoking a Nightcore versus Phoenix battle. I was asked to review these lights and I was asked to do this specific comparison and I do like to accommodate these requests whenever I can. On a personal basis, I am not an advocate, an ambassador, an enthusiast, or a fanboy of any one particular brand. I use lighting systems as a tool primarily in wilderness search and rescue. And as long as I believe I have the best tool for the job, I do not care who the manufacturer is. I do have detailed reviews of both of these lights on the channel. I will put the URL to each review in the description. So I'm not going to talk a lot about the technical differences between the lights. You probably know that already. You're probably familiar with the UI differences. The one thing I will say, because it's easy to get caught up in the uh, peak lumens comparison, each of these lights has five basic modes. Now, across each of the lighting modes, the Phoenix does have a out the front lumen advantage with the exception of high. There's a 50 lumen difference on the, in favor of the night core for that one. When you're looking at uh, medium high turbo, the night core has a candela advantage. And in fact, that difference is quite pronounced in high mode. So if you kind of look under the hood and at the entire breadth of the specs, what that's telling me is that I should expect to see the Phoenix be a lesser throw but illuminate a wider area type of light versus the night core having a narrower, brighter beam that is longer throw. And I would probably expect those differences to be most pronounced in the high mode. Of course, I could be wrong. That's why we do the test. But before that, I want to show you each of the testing stations while there's still daylight out, and that should provide a better interpretation of what you see once we do the test come dark. So if you've read up on the night core, you know about daily versus tactical mode. Very quickly, I have mine set in tactical. And what that means for tonight's evaluation is that successive clicks of the mode button reduce the illumination by one level. So if I'm in turbo and I click the mode button, it takes me down too high. The Phoenix is just the opposite. If I'm turbo, it cycles back around to the lowest mode and successive clicks move up in illumination. So when I film a comparison, it's going to be one segment per mode. So this will be the first station looking out at the fence line around Tadra. We'll be looking at uh, low versus low and then medium versus medium. So we'll be kind of lighting up the rocks, see how the fence line gets lit up. And then we got some, a couple of trees there in the background. After that, I'll move over here in front of my truck. And we'll do one for uh, our law enforcement security people. I will have the headlights on and then we'll do high versus high lighting up the truck straight into the windshield. We'll also look at the grill and see how it, uh, the two lights handled that uh, photonic barrier. Then for the last set of tests, I'll post up right in here. And from here out to the uh, far tree lines, about 115 yards, over 120 to that small group of four trees in the far background. So we'll be doing uh, 
high versus high and then turbo versus turbo. Hopefully you will have uh, seen everything you need by then. I'll come back, do a brief wrap up, and then we'll call it a night. All right, let's get started. We will always have the Phoenix on the left and the Night Core on the right. This is low versus low. You can kind of see them side by side directly ahead. Let me move the Night Core out. Then that is the Phoenix and low. Bring the Night Core in. That is the night core and low, and then back to side by side. Next we'll do medium versus medium. And here we go, medium versus medium. Let me move the night core out. This is the Phoenix. Then bring the night core in. Both in medium mode. And then side by side. Next, we'll look at the uh, truck headlight test, high versus high. And here we go, high versus high. First, the Phoenix. Then the Nightcore. may not show up on the iPhone, but I can really tell from the unaided eye. I'm getting really good visibility inside that truck, even looking back directly into the headlights. So this is the first time I really think we see the uh, difference in peak candela between the modes. One more time, Phoenix. And then... Night core. Next, we'll do a longer range test high versus high, turbo versus turbo. And here we go high versus high. First, the Phoenix. Night core. Side by side. Yeah, I think once we get to this distance, it's really easier to see the differences in the uh, in the two beams. Next, we'll do a quick turbo versus turbo. And here we are, turbo versus turbo. I'm just doing a side-by-side -side between the two. Phoenix on the left, Night Core on the right. And there you see very quickly the uh, Phoenix goes into step-down. And so if you're looking for something that... Uh, holds turbo for a more extended time or holds in at a higher level of illumination in that mode for a longer period of time the uh the night core is definitely the winner i also think it does a better job at uh thermal regulation so in terms of heat i can definitely tell that uh the phoenix is hotter 
than the uh, night core. So that will uh, pretty much wrap up the direct comparison. I'll do a quick summary and then we'll call it a night. Okay, I know I'm going to get asked the question, so I'll go ahead and try to give an honest answer. Uh, which of these two would I choose if I could only pick one? Now, for my general loadout, my left shoulder light is fixed. It tends to be optimized for whatever my particular mission is. So when I carry another full-size flashlight, I'm looking at something that is a more general purpose, free light, you know, handheld asset. And my requirements are primarily on the low end. I want uh, modes that are very good for tracking at night. I found the eco mode on the uh, Phoenix to be near perfect. Uh, I've also used um, low. I want a higher mode that is not turbo. I rarely ever use turbo. and When I do, it's just very short intervals. I want something that would allow me to do a sustained search at a high level and be able to do identifications in kind of that 100 to 150 yard range, but simultaneously light up a pretty wide area. And the, the Phoenix does a good job of that. It also meets all three of my criteria for a handheld tactical light. So in some respects, I guess I could say that it checks all the boxes. If I ever find anything else that checks off all the boxes better, I'd replace it in a second. Now, if you're into law enforcement, private security applications, I think you owe it to yourself to take a long look at the Night Corps. In particular, the myriad of additional accessories and options that are available for this light. You can put together a pretty impressive kit that would handle a very wide range of issues you would run into on patrol. Now, if you're not in law enforcement or security, you just want one of these long throw, <laughs> high candela flashlights. Well, what's your budget? For below 100 bucks, actually quite a bit less expensive than the Night Core, I've been doing a lot of testing of the Cyan Sky K3. If you like 64,000 peak lumens on the Night Core, wait till you get a load of 90,000 on the K3. Oh, but why stop there? If you can raise your budget to maybe 100, 150 for an LED light, there are a number of Mac manufacturers, um, Olight, Welltool, Nebo, Ace Beam, just to name a few, all have models in that price range that will get you into the low six figures in peak candela. And if you're kind of moving into that unlimited budget, uh, depending on how much you want to spend, you can move into LEP lights and get up to a million plus peak candela. So those are just some things to think about. I hope you got some useful information tonight. Uh, just a quick teaser. I hope to have a review of a brand new light from Phoenix out in less than a week. Until then, thank you very much for your time and thank you for watching the video.